You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 630. It's time for the state to step up and be loyal to us uh, retirees. Despite outcries from seniors enrolled in state-sponsored health insurance benefits, the state decided to hand an even larger contract to CVS-owned insurance company Aetna. Aetna Medicare is poised to be the only health insurance option for roughly 140,000 retired state workers. Our Target 3 team obtained a slew of documents that state officials used to make, uh, used to make that decision. Investigative reporter Renee Cooper joins us live. Renee, what did you find? Well, this Aetna Medicare PPO plan would be the sole option for state retirees who spend a fair amount of time traveling or live outside of state starting in January. As I dug into the bidding process, I found some in apparent inaccuracies in the list of doctors and hospitals Aetna submitted to the Illinois Department of Central Management Services. I also confirmed the decision is being protested over concerns similar to the ones lawmakers had with the last bidding process 10 years ago. We don't know what Aetna is offering, and we know that there have been problems with the plan they have for the employees, and we weren't included in any of the decisions. It's been the topic of conversation at this early morning exercise group for weeks. Ever since we discovered, the Illinois Department of Central Management Services, or CMS, chose Aetna to replace United Healthcare. You don't have to say you're rationing health care if in fact you offer health care with so few providers that people can't get in or can't get in for months and months. Everyone in this yoga circle is state retirees. Most worked at the University of Illinois. John Bennett taught at Lakeland College. He, like many in this group, go to Carl Doctors, they say, are covered under United Healthcare. My wife and I were having lunch with friends of ours, both of whom are retired physicians, when the topic turned to health coverage and the possibility of having Aetna. Both of them just grimaced at uh, Aetna's reputation. Those Carl doctors were kicked out of network on all Aetna Medicare plans this year, depleting coverage for seniors in and around Champaign County. Regardless, CMS gave Aetna and United Healthcare the same score for their doctor directories. But when I dug through the list of providers Aetna submitted, I found they included a group of more than 550 Carl doctors and Carl Foundation Hospital in Urbana. Both are accurately listed as out of network, but in the next column, the insurer claims Carl is willing to accept the plan. Aetna nor Carl answered when we asked if these doctors would still be available and at the same rate for patients. But a note on Aetna's website makes it clear. They are under no obligation to treat Aetna members. To start over with that, you know, at our age, we're very concerned. And the online directory gives cause for concern. I'm diabetic, so I looked under endocrinology. There were four listed, and the first two were at Schnucks grocery stores, and they weren't endocrinologists. They were just pharmacies. So apparently that means that they offer two endocrinologists in this 25 mile radius and that has me hugely concerned is that enough for the senior population here <laughs> no i also looked up the provider list for a champagne zip code i hadn't even specified a specialty when i got the notice quote there are no network providers in your county. The state needs to be more concerned about their employees and what they've contributed to the state and be more concerned about making sure that their needs are met. Now, United Healthcare confirmed they plan to file a second protest with the state. The company says CMS didn't follow its own rules when officials failed to meet to set scoring criteria before reviewing these applications. Now, the state agency can't officially sign a contract with Aetna or anyone else until protests have been resolved. For more details from the bidding process and past reports on this topic, head on over to WCIA.com slash Target 3. Back to you. All right, Renee, thanks so much.